Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at these two buses right here. One is made by Matchbox Lesney and the other one is a new model from Mattel. As you can see this one is identified as a GMC Cynic Cruiser which uh, GM was the company that made the real bus. On the match uh, on the Lesney side, this is identified as number 66 and just with the letter coach. So we're gonna be taking a look and what's the difference. And I'm gonna be bringing over my computer so uh, we could take a look at pictures of the real bus and check out the main differences between the two and the real thing. So let me bring over my computer and we're gonna continue. Guys, so it seems that uh, GM got the inspiration uh, for making the Cine Cruiser from this company uh, from Spain. This model is the Pegaso Monocasco Diesel. So it seems that they uh, they had looked at this. Uh, this is a toy version, but you know, got a, a better picture of the words on the side. Autotransporte Turístico Español S.A. So uh, it seems that they got the idea to make the scenic cruiser from this bus. Even though this one only has one axle in the back, the scenic cruiser has two. Uh, if we see here, this is a picture I acquired from the internet. It's the same version. The biggest difference. This one has clear windshields. It appears that the first batch that uh, Matchbook Lesney made had uh, clear windshields. This is definitely a more or harder uh, version variation to find. As you see here, I really don't know if that is restored. Like I said, I just got that picture from the internet. Now we have here a picture of a real one and this other one. As you saw, they have different letters and a different color scheme. This one has yellow. This is all blue. So if we go by the version here, you can see that the tempo has blue lines. So they were definitely going by this model here, even though Matchbox didn't even try to uh, match the, the font. Most likely because this, this is so small, so they wanted Greyhound letters to really stand out. But as you can see, uh, the letters are not the same. Not even this, they're not even the same. Let's see, get the light going here. So you got different fonts too. So for this video, we're gonna go by this model here. Now, one of the the things that uh, I first noticed was that every other uh, toy model, doesn't matter what scale from any other company, they had three sunroofs. As you can see, these are completely different. All right, guys, so as you can see, the, the windshields are completely different. Even the casting is completely different here. So one of the first thing that I noticed was that the sunroof, first they're different, and two, there was only two on each model. On every other model that I found on the internet, there was always three. So I, I was able to find this picture here in... Uh, the internet 
right? If we take a closer look, you can almost see a wind, a uh, sunroof there, one here, one here, and one here. So there was definitely three sunroof on the top, right? And I was wondering how come they only did two and then I kind of finally figured it out. If you take a look on the side here, you look this panel here, and it's this panel here. This smaller panel, we don't have it in the Matchbox model. We have a big panel, which we do have. Now there's a second one that we don't have. So if you were wondering if uh, Hot Wheels or Matchbox make true uh, 164 scale, uh, scale, then you have your answer right here. The answer is no. Another thing I noticed, I don't know if you haven't noticed it, is that the original have one, two, three, four windows. This one only has three. The new model also has three. And it's even worse. As you see here, the separation between this one and this one, it's not the same. And they almost look crooked. Now, if you see the original, you have slanted uh, framing because I'm pretty sure these open. On this one, at least they tried to make it. You see it here, but they made it straight. There's not slanted. They're supposed to have a divider here in the front. Neither, neither of the models have it. Now on this one, it's missing this part here. It's missing from here they try to replicate something here with a little mark here on the window we're not close to i haven't not taken this apart but i'm getting the feeling that this orange part here is plastic i think it is so we're gonna have to take a look once we drill it open if we go to the back they are slightly different, especially the window. So if we go back, let me see here. If we go back here, you see that the window is bigger and it does have a, oh, there it is. It does have kind of a division here. You can see it better on this one because it's painted. See, it almost has like a little bracket. Now the Lesney does have the little mark here, as you see, but the window should have been all the way to the corner, right around here. So that part, Mattel got it, uh, got a better looking window in the back. Plus these roof lights here, Mattel did put them in. Lesney. Did not have them. And before I forget, nice detail here with the side view mirrors. Lesney didn't have side view mirrors. Now, who made a better job? Just because these windows look kind of crooked, which I think they are, I'm gonna give the give it to Lesney with a much better design. And the missing part here, I think we might be able to recreate that little missing part, but I do really like the side view mirrors. And Mattel included windshield wipers, uh, Lesney didn't. The front bumper looks slightly different, but uh, that's because on the Lesney, you can see that this 
part here is part of the base or the chassis and that's how it hooks you know that's how it stays together it does have two small rivets here on the back so looking at the at the paint job right you can see that Lesney tried to replicate the two uh, blue colors by including it in the tempo here. But in reality, the blue color should have gone on this underside here. That's this part here. And right underneath the windows. So the tempo should not have blue. It should be painted here and here and from what you can see here that theme goes all the way around the bus through the back which we don't have it here they did not include the part here where it divides you know what we're going to try to replicate that uh as you notice i do not do voiceovers over my videos so I'm trying, you know, I, uh, I'm calling it right now. I'm going to try to replicate the original paint job, but you know, I can't guarantee it because the roof is supposed to be, this part is also supposed to be blue, but we are going to try it. If we can't make it, then we can't make it. Also, another detail here in the back, there's supposed to be some vents here, this corner, that way the engine could or engines because if you read a little about these buses the first first ones made had two engines instead of one just so they could have enough power to move this titanic of a bus uh later on the gm was able to make a, a v8 diesel strong enough to move this bus and then they replaced it to uh diesel smaller engines so right now just that introduction was long, but uh, we're gonna drill this apart. Actually, we're gonna drill both apart and take a look inside, see how they look, okay? And just like I suspected, this all plastic is part of the interior. We have two, four, six, eight, eight seats. Oh, there's two more back here. So I guess uh, that makes 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Definitely not enough uh, seats for everybody. Uh, I cleaned up post so we could uh, close close it uh, back up without any problems after we paint. Uh, this definitely is going to create a bit of a problem here. So most likely I'm going to end up painting this gray or aluminum color. And uh, I guess here we're going to do something similar. Let me remove this windshield here. Let me see if I can get this out of here. There it goes. And we have this other one. Which you can see it does have a suspension. And just like the state truck, if you haven't watched that video, please go see it. So the suspension only works on the front axle and the metal axle, not on the axle all the way in the back i am very much tempted to try to create a suspension 
modification here which allows this back part to have a suspension let's take this apart here oh here we have the steering wheel came apart most likely this goes somewhere around here like so but you can see a lot more details here on the Lesney version so Lesney keeps winning when comparing it to the Mattel so we have a lot more seats we have two four six on the first floor here and two four six eight ten twelve up on top and we also have the stairs here to get inside the bus that's also a very nice detail and just in case you were wondering if we could fit the new windshield on the old let's try that out and the answer is no it doesn't even go in here it goes see so it appears that the new model is a little bit wider as you see here and the old windshield most definitely doesn't fit either on the on the new model so I'm gonna put this in a paint remover clean this off and before we start painting I'm gonna try to recreate this whole thing in vinyl that way I don't have to paint in white it's gonna be a lot easier if I just make a sticker and wrap it around uh, who knows maybe I end up painting like I said I don't I don't do voiceover so it's up in the air right now we'll see what happens but first I want to I want to make sure I don't lose that steering wheel and uh, clean everything and remove paint so once that's done I will be back All right, guys, so I was not going to cut the axle, but uh, I want this chassis to look uh, perfect. And the only way that I could really remove that paint is by removing the axle. Plus, as if you notice, some of them are way too big and they extend out way too much. So with this method, I could just make them shorter and I'm going to be using the method which I always use is uh, cut up a valve where the axle will slide in and remove uh, all this paint. So this is going to go in the paint remover like the casting. So we'll be back. Well guys, check it out. I've removed all the paint. Here's the new model. So for now, I'm gonna leave this video right here. And I'm gonna make a part two since I don't wanna make another movie. And before I go, I got this model right here. It's the turning gasser. Funny enough, uh, a few years ago, I made a Hot Wheels. And it was also a Mustang with the same features. Uh, I'll try to post a link to that uh, small video on my Instagram account <clears throat> but this model you know it's got a broken stick here and the back hook question is 
Should I cut it? Or should I try to fix it? Let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.